Yeah. Where are the game wardens around here in the old days? Oh, you know which one? For the whole county. The rent for them, I did it. McClane. Took him down one time from the clears down to Catabogie when I was going for load for Hunter. And I asked him, I said, Paddy, would you pinch him because me his dear uh, season? Yes, he said that was. Mm-hmm. I I ain't getting good wages and I took a note and he said I wouldn't have my father about He said, you want to do? He said, keep off my, my beat. I don't follow nobody unless I'm asked it. When says, you know where my beat is, says, keep the head off me. Was Patty game warm at the same time he was on the river? No. Warm. Years yeah. after. Years after he was. But you only could tell his track and the voice. He wore the big overshoe. Yeah. Well, he had them overshoes on. You seen them overshoe tracks? Just <laughs> ridiculous. And sometimes uh, he'd be asked to go to investigate. You know, and then that he thought he was to go. Oh, that was worth it. Hey? Oh, the young man. Is this Patty's son? Oh, he's a devil. Yeah, the moving where I guess he was really killed him. Yeah, he got some awful policemen there. Eh? I heard that he got a, a bad one up somewhere. Top to his hill there one time. Well, you know where um, Richard has his hunting camp? Yeah, up there. I don't care about that kind of thing going down. He's going down that car's car. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, he had, um, Bill Richard had been there and he caught a few trucks. And he was crying when the lad came in. He was going to take him. He was going to take him and give him a hell of a truck. He knew he was in for the... Did he pinch him? Oh, yeah, he was pinched. But he gave him a damn good thing. Up, up, somewhere, but near Killaloo. It was too far to fish it through the ice. And he'd been after him quite a while. And by golly, this day he came along and all the rest of the whole day. And they caught him then, they caught the whole bigger, and they doused him down and up right to the arm. They said, up and down and up and down and go. <laughs> Did he catch them after? Yeah. Lynch them after? Yeah. I guess he got the scared. Yeah. Next time they put him down for good. He <laughs> 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 got a, a fleece in there at Calabogie one time. Eh? He got a fleece in the Calabogie there one time from them Sherbert's. Yeah. They threw them right over that Country Creek Bridge. Oh, they fired them right into the creek then, right in the spring of the year. <laughs> then uh, he had to swim, you see. One went down each side of the creek with a stick, and then he comes near the shore and they shove him out of the water. Yeah, that's a good idea. Two, two three hundred yards down there, and he goes from the shore, they kind of hit him with the stick and drive him out. He goes to the other side, another fellow going down the creek on the other side. Still, they kept him in there. Oh, he's just about done. Turned him out in the mud there, left him. But he said to the doctor, he said, That Inwood got his great soul trimming up that little one time, too. Inwood was on before him. Uh, he used to barber him last when he was the biggest lawbreaker of anybody. But oh, he was there for him. But this time he, he found that this, uh, after this lad had went to fish, and so he, he drove up the road to the truck where he thought he'd come out. Oh, yeah. And then, sure enough, the lad came out. So well, that's why they, so um, he took the fish, put them in the car, right took the pie. fish and tackle and everything, oh, no. give them some, and, yeah. and uh, yeah. then he was going to start to go in, he was turning me to walk back to the car piece, and he said to the lad, you better, he says, grow up that wheel before you start to put down flat, uh-huh. and the lad got out and jeep as he got them. Uh, he was in the Thunder Coffin for two weeks. Found it very well once he got him out of the car. He found it very well. Was the feather punched there? Eh? No, you found it to get him out of the car. There was nothing wrong at the time. Oh, you said that to get him out. Yeah. Was your baby all right? Oh, I was going to tell you. I guess he's on, yes. Oh, it's down on the 
He's up in the Cumber Mirror way up there. He generally hunts with the oars that we fall. See, what are you retired on with people killing them too early and leaving in the bush? Some of them killing them in June, just in the hunting quarters and all that. When we were driving there, the drive was always held at Cane Rapids there. Because from there down it was terrible. Yes. And now so John, um, they'd hold it there to um, get swept in and then they'd have men all along. Now, all their guns. Um, and you'd get seven and eight mm, front quarters uh, of the deers there in the water. I don't know. I didn't get a good on just the later Just part skinned out. I don't know why. Poor old Patty used Something to rave like about that, that and said if he ever was on the game warden, he'd suffer the man that done that. But he got on, and I guess he got a time he never expected to be on, but he got on all right. And that's what he was hired. He said it, it wasn't, it was all right, man, I had no way of getting meat. I went to the bush, and if he couldn't eat it all, he'd give it to his neighbor. But this thing, and leaving it in the bush, oh, he was hired. There are a lot of deer in those days when you were on the drive? No. Did they ever kill any on the drive? No, not that I ever had. Yeah. 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 